Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Ogakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truth very sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to your Akim out there. And this was a news article that was uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday at 11.13 p.m. on uh, October the 3rd, 2022, on uh, Monday of yesterday. <clears throat> and this is a news article from MSN.com, and this was uh, reported yesterday on October 3rd, 2022, at yesterday at 11.13 p.m. at CNET.com. And this was published by Daniel Van... Boom. And the highlight of this news article, it reads, uh, Japan issues emergency alert after North Korea missile launch. And you know, that goes into that JOL 3 and 10, let the weak say I am strong. And North Korea, they've been definitely been showing their military strength and capability. And, you know, once back when Kim Jong-un made that statement, you know, that he was going to make North Korea as a uh, weapons, a nuclear weapons uh, country, you know. So after he made that statement, yeah, and, uh, Kim Jong-un definitely been showing his military strength, you know. And I believe uh, this is like their 18th or 19th missile launch test so far this year. And like their 7th or 8th uh, ICBM missile launch test this year as well too. Since the first time since 2017. And you know the, the UN uh, was sending warnings to North Korea stop their nuclear missile testing to new you know denutrialize North Korea's nuclear tests and you got the United States that's backing them up with that and uh, uh, South Korea and Japan as well too you know and then I'm gonna read this again for edification sake I, I just wanted to add that note to what I, what I just explained but I'm gonna read this again for edification sake of this lesson it says Japan issues a emergency alert and this was yesterday Japan issues an emergency alert after North Korea missile launch. It says the 5 million residents of Haokodo, if I pronounced that right, Japanese, I mean Japan's uh, second largest island, were warned on Tuesday morning local time to take shelter after North Korea launched a missile over the island after a 20 minute after a tense 20 minutes of emergency alerts the missile was announced to have crashed into the Pacific Ocean and this is from yesterday in Japan a missile warning the Japanese government is warned a missile could be flying towards Japan stay indoors or find shelter he will bring you more details and that's was breaking news from yesterday of north korean missile likely launched an alert hired by the nhk world japan's public broadcast alert like it reportedly aired on every tv set in uh japan but continue on with the reading Residents has reported through social media that all the TV channels displayed on urgent message about a possible incoming strike. The Japanese government is warned a missile could be flying towards Japan. Read a message on NHK World Japan's public broadcast. Stay indoors or find shelter. We will bring you more details soon. Citizens will walking through public space reporting hearing a air raid warning 
through the uh, PA systems, which is public announcement systems. It says the missiles is thought by authorities to have launch from 7.22 a.m. local time and 3.22 p.m. Monday Pacific Standard Time and launch in the Pacific seven minutes later. North Korea returns to regular missile tests this year. Tuesday incident becomes the fifth test this past week. The previous four missiles were sent into waters. Heard South Korea and Japan are thought to be particularly in response to Vice President Kamala Harris tour of South Korea last week. It says North Korea has adopted refreshing aggression in the southern neighborhood following the March election of Yoon Suk Yu as South Korea's president. When you offered the country economic insensitive and insensitives, if I pronounce that right, kind of slip of tongue, in exchange for a dismantle of its nuclear program, Kim Rajin balked it would be more favor in his image to shut his mouth rather than talking nonsense as he nothing to say. Kim Yo Young, sister of Kim Jong Un the second, said in a statement released by Right. I remember that that was a couple of months ago. So they kind of rejected that offer, you know. In a statement releasing by the uh, Korean state news agencies, after Kim Jong Un in September pleased to never abandon the country's nuclear program, which he earned the country's the ability sanctions experts has predicted another North Korean nuclear weapon test is imminent. Yep, goes into Joel 3 and 10. Let the weak say I am strong from North Korea. And I'm about to bring that scripture since I mentioned that. Because you already had after this emergency nuclear launch from uh, North Korea as Japan warned the uh, citizens of Japan in that region over there yesterday when they had this missile uh, missile strike from North Korea as Japan warned citizens of Japan uh, take shelter because there is an incoming nuclear strike which was launched by North Korea so yeah North Korea they're they definitely not playing around they're showing that military strength this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and the pulley hooks into spears and let the weak say, I am strong, right? That's what you're seeing from North Korea. A Kim Jong-un made that statement as I was reading through the article. He said he's not going to give up his nuclear weapons. He's not going to destabilize them. He's going to continue firing his nuclear weapons. And he's going to continue to practice his uh, uh, nuclear force is nuclear capability and their nuclear capability is strength and that's what you've seen uh, from Kim Jong-un you know early in the year January 1st you know I mentioned this previous times I've been doing uh, lessons on you know uh, news coverage of you know Kim Jong-un been firing missiles in that region over there as I stated back Kim Jong-un made that huge statement back in January of 2022, saying he was going to make sure North Korea be that nuclear capability strength of a nation, and that's what he's been showing, you know, and he's ready for, uh, he's ready to, you know, to defend his, uh, even though a lot of people say he's a dictator, president, and all that. But hey, Kim Jong Un showing his nuclear capability and strength. You know, he's not scared of the United States. He's not scared of South Korea. You know, neighboring South Korea or Japan as well either. You know, Kim Jong Un said, "Hey, all you three nations in the UN as well too, 
all y'all against me trying to destabilize my uh my nuclear capabilities hey i'm gonna make north korea as a nuclear weapon state you know as they signed that in declarations in early september as kim jong-un made that announcement he said he's not giving up his nuclear capability you know and that's what we've been seeing that goes back into joel 3 and 10 let the weak say i'm strong you starting to see these nations starting to show their military capability and strength and north korea and Kim Jong Un, the president of North Korea, that's a prime example, you know. But these tensions are definitely going to increase more and more because you already had the North Korea had those high increased tensions against uh, United States, South Korea, and Japan, and other allies that's with United States, South Korea, and Japan. And North Korea is against that, you know. Hey, they showing their nuclear capability. They showing their military capability, strength, you know, against these other nations, you know. And this is going to continue to increase more and more and more, you know. And this is the book of uh, Matthew. The scripture that I always bring out. Matthews 24 and 6, right? Because Kim Jong Un, them, they in, they in that military, uh, war type mindset right now at this moment, you know. Matthews 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? Because you're gonna see more of these things increase more and more and more of these rumors of wars of these nations against nations kingdom against kingdoms and that nation against nation that's a prime example and the rumors of wars are a prime example with north korea having that tension between japan south korea and the united states and the u.n as well too as they stop as they make continuing warnings of uh, north korea to stop firing their nuclear missiles, to stop using ICBM missile launch and tests as well too, as they push forward for more economic sanctions on North Korea, and Kim Jong Un is not having that. He said, "Hey, we're not giving up our nuclear capability. We're not giving up our nuclear military defense. You know, we're gonna keep on testing our missiles. You know, ain't no other." country or state can tell us anything our town our uh, country is a nuclear weapon state and kim jong-un he lived up to the expectation and that's what he's still doing right now you know he's gonna still continue to use his military capability and that joel 3 and 10 definitely increasing coming into full effect let the weak say I am strong, and that's what you're seeing, you know, from Kim Jong Un and many other nations as well too. You know, they're showing that military strength. They in that war type tactic mindset, you know, and that's what we're seeing. And I'm gonna read again for edification sake of this sit down. Let's Matthew's 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. In Matthews 24 and 7, for nations shall rise against nations, just like you, uh, just like the United States, South Korea, and Japan versus North Korea. They highly against South Korea. I mean, they highly against North Korea from firing their nuclear missiles and stuff like that. They highly against Kim Jong Un of him doing that. They highly oppose of him doing that. You know. That's why you got these tensions between these nations and different kingdoms. Matthews 24 and 7. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, because you're going to have these nations increasingly against more and more and more against one another. And these rumors of wars is definitely increasing now more than ever, you know. I'm going to go back to Joel 3 and 10, then I'm going to close out the lesson. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. 
beat your plowsheds and the shores and the plenty hooks and let the weak say I am strong. Right. The, the, the nations are stoning, starting to show themselves that they are strong now. At first, they wasn't like that years back. But now, nowadays, these nations are showing their military capability and their military strength. They got nuclear capability just like any other nation. They might not be a big country just like other nations. But these nations are been upgradable in their nuclear capabilities, their missiles, and their military, and their artillery, I mean, et cetera, you name it. And North Korea is one of those countries. You know, they got nuclear capability just like any other nation as well, too. You know, so North Korea is not scared of the United States. They're not scared of Japan. They're not scared of South Korea as well, too. And those countries are against North Korea firing their missiles, testing their missiles, testing ICBM missiles, testing hypersonic missiles, testing ballistic intercontinental ballistic missiles as well too and that's what Kim Jong-un doing hey he's starting to show his military capability and strength he gonna see these things increase more and more and more you know as I brought out Joel 3 and 10 let the weak say I am strong hey Kim Jong-un showing his strength and capability even if people look at it as a negative or or positive hey Kim Jong-un showing his nuclear capability strength you know, to protect his uh, people and his country as well, too. He's showing that, uh, that strength, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close out this sit down lesson, on this uh, October the 4th, 2022, even though this this is a, a news article from yesterday of October 3rd, 2022, but I was reporting it a day later on October 4th, 2022 at 1.02 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah, as I brought it out uh, into, as an introduction of the sit-down lesson, hey, that Joel 3 and 10 is definitely increasing and it's coming to full effect. Hey, let the weak say I am strong. Hey, North Korea is definitely showing their nuclear capabilities, you know. Won't be surprised that they uh, ante it up with their nuclear capability and firing more missiles. You know, they're getting that preparing for war type mindset, which is in the book of Joel 3 and 9. Uh, wake up the mighty man, prepare war. Hey, Kim Jong-un is on that warlike mindset, you know. He's on that warlike military mindset, you know. And it goes back to Joel 3 and 10. Let the weak say I am strong. And these nations showing their military strength and capability. And it's going to continue to increase, you know. And so with that, I will say Shalom and the ball, ball, ball.